So, Steve, it was a 2 1 defeat against North Victoria. Um, how are you feeling about that in the league at the minute? Yeah, gutted, really. Um, we, it seems like we can't buy a win at the minute. I mean, we've got ourselves into a great position there where at half time, you know, we were in a position to win the game as long as we can stay a solid second half. Um, I think it was really challenging conditions. Obviously, you know, the pitch was very heavy. Um, both teams struggled, I think, to, to create any kind of pattern to play and, and, and build the play. And it, it, it seemed to come from a couple of mistakes. We didn't press the ball well for the first goal and we got caught wrong side second goal and it's gone through about three men. So, um, typical of the type of goals that you concede when, when the chips are down and things are going against you, unfortunately. Um, but I've just said to the lads, I, I couldn't fault them for their effort and um, we're hopeful that with more. Um, performances like that, it will turn for us. We'll, we'll get one that goes in off somebody's bum or, or you know, off the back of somebody, and it'll, it'll turn us around. What do you feel has been the issue as to why the win improved that? Um, well, you know, the, the, it's, it's a quandary for us. It's, uh, it's something we've kind of wrapped our heads about because it's more or less the same personnel that, that six weeks ago are sitting at the top of the league and, and looking like we're going to do something this year. And we lost um, Nicky Van Dienas and attacking winger to Ashton United. He's gone a couple of leagues higher, so he's obviously a big miss. He'd scored goals and was creating chances for us. And we've lost our captain, Mark Rogers. Um, he's unfortunately poorly at this, this moment in time. And he's a big loss for us. Um, he picks up second goals in the middle of the pitch. But after that, I can't, I, I can't really put my finger on it. Um, and we think that by hard work and by tinkering with shapes, um, we can we can kind of make ourselves a little bit tougher to beat. The, the problem has been conceding goals, so we've tried to set up a little bit more, um, you know, with a defensive focus today. Hit teams on the counter attack with the pace that we've got, and for the first half, it's worked an absolute dream. It's just unfortunate that we couldn't hang on in the second half. But we'll work hard on the training ground on Thursday and, and try and get back on Saturday. Yourselves and Northwich Victoria are fairly close in the league table. Do you feel like this was an opportunity you missed to go higher than them? Yeah, I know. I mean, it, it's tough in our league because things change quite quickly, and um, Northwich suffered a, a really poor start to the season, which ended up with them changing their manager. And you know, Steve Wilkes has obviously had great success in our league with Padium a couple of years ago. He's a he's an experienced non-league manager, knows lots of players, um, and it's a very different Northwich Victoria team than what I saw earlier on in the season. Um, and they're a good side, you know. I think they've won six out of the last seven now. So. You know they're, they're kind of where we want to be at, and whilst our league, league it's almost like we've kind of crossed each other on the on the way way down as they go up. But um, you know, if if we judge kind of on the form guide, they would be at the top of the form guide, and we're obviously at the bottom. And there wasn't too too much between the teams. I thought today, I thought we could have snatched it at the end. There, we just needed a chance to go our way. Yeah, you mentioned a few players have gone out there, but some players have come in. So, what are your thoughts on John Sargent and Belly New? Yeah, so John is uh, uh, really, really excited to get John Sargent into, into the squad. Um, he's obviously a Gibraltar international. He's got lots of experience um, playing in international football, which is something that you can't you can't really place a, a, a price on. Really, um, really pleased to get him because you know we don't have the, the resources or the finances to ordinarily attract an international footballer t to our team. But you know he brings a little bit of solidarity to us, a bit of physicality. Um, and he is settling game by game. He's been out of the game for a while. He's not played much football as we're waiting for international clearance to come through. But now it's come through. He's played in the last four, and I think he's got better with each game. And you know, he's not used to kind of uh, these pitches with the Mediterranean climate that he's used to playing in. But he's adapting well, and we're really pleased with him. So, you know, fingers crossed, he'll go from strength to strength, and he'll be a big part of what we do going forward. So John Sargent, new signing here at Westbury in Charlton, but he likes to be called Jack. Jack. I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Sitcom. Yeah, I've always, my officially it's John, I prefer to be called Jack since I've always been called Jack since I was young. <laughs> so, what's it like uh, playing here in Westerby and Charlton then, considering you're used to the Mediterranean to climb it? Yeah, yeah, it's a bit colder, but it's been great. I've been here since I started beginning of November, so I think it's my fifth game, it's all been going well. Just getting back to match fitness, uh, getting more games in, yeah, it's been going well. Do you feel like because you've had international caps, you've got more of an experience to bring on to these players? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I, I had a bit of a problem last year and I spent the whole year without playing. I had an injury and a few other things, so I didn't play last year. So I'm catching up a bit to get back to uh, full fitness. But I think once I'm there, I'll yeah, rub off the players a bit and help as much as I can. What are your ambitions at this club? Oh, to do the best we can, game by game, and get back to winning ways now, obviously, and get climb up the table as much as we can. So today you lost against Norfolk Victoria, 2-1, yeah. um, 
What's it been like in the dressing room with the other players? I think, I mean, we've been unlucky, I think. We won their up at half time and we've ended up losing it. I think it could have gone either way. But, um, yeah, just get, we want to get back, back to training and get to the next game on Saturday and go back to winning ways. So I spoke to Steve before the manager and he said that yeah. he felt it was like an opportunity you missed, you know, to go above Norfolk Victoria, do you feel the same? Yeah, I'll say that as well, yeah. Really, yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said, could have gone either way and I think we missed out. We're unlucky, a bit unlucky as well. So apart from that, obviously because you have international caps, do you feel yourself somewhat as maybe a possible future leader to this team? Yeah, I'm still, I mean, I'm 22, I'm still quite young, I think. Uh, yeah, just like I said, I get my best every time I play and hopefully helps the team out as much as I can.